Friend, you can manifest miracles. Don't you ignore this powerful energy. Today I'm going to explain to you the principles surrounding the very manifestation of your desires. The desires of your heart, those things that we call miracles. Miracles of abundance and supply, healing and rescue from our midnight hours. You can live in a world where you are surrounded by that energy, by the power of that energy every moment of every day. That should be the world you live in. Let me show you how to get there. How are you glorious soul here on a mission with destiny to fulfill? Do you hear it beating inside of your chest? That's the promise of a brighter tomorrow and it calls us forward friend. Will you answer the call? I know sometimes we can get so burned out from trying to live our best life, from getting stuck in the machine. But there is a powerful energy that calls us forward. We can manifest miracles and live in the fullness of that. And that's what today is all about. But a little bit of housekeeping, a little bit of administration before we get into it. Friend, my name is Ben, a special warm welcome to you, particularly if it's your first time visiting or if you're returning but you haven't yet joined our community, subscribe to the channel, connect your energy with mine. You can reach out to me anytime. It might take me a heartbeat to get back to you, but I will do my very best. I promise you that friend, I'm here every single day talking about living your dreams, sharing with you the things I've learned, studying for a degree, the brain sciences and spirituality. It's all here, my friend. Now, today is an interesting topic and it won't take a lot of time, but I wanted to encourage you in something. And if you hear a bit of noise in the background, the gardeners are here, so just disregard that. It's a beautiful day here in the countryside after a week of rain. So after a week of rain, all the grass is growing and all of the weeds are sprouting, so the gardeners are out doing their thing. But friend, I want to talk to you about the very manifestation of your dream, about miracle manifestation and living in the power and the energy of that. Don't miss that energy, that energy of miracle manifestation. And you say to me, Ben, I, I don't want to miss it. I want my miracle. I want my miracle of healing. I want my miracle of provision, of abundance, of my dreams fulfilled, but it keeps escaping me. Friend, the most powerful energy that you can hold and possess on your journey of manifestation is energy that is balanced. See, you don't ever create and manifest into reality, into your experience, the dreams of your heart. What you see is a reflection back of the energy that you sit in the pocket of every single day. Now, we all have peaks and troughs, don't we? We all have things that happen that really get us cranked up and motivated and excited. And we all have things that happen that trigger us, that upset us, that frustrate us, that cause us to be sad or look back over old memories or perhaps emotionally respond. It happens all the time. That's not the problem. The problem exists in the space between the peaks and the troughs. What happens in that moment? Because that is where your core dominant vibration lies. The very foundation of your energy, the very makeup and the DNA, the structure of your energy can be found in the valleys and the troughs in the time that lies in between them. In between that time you were so elated about that thing that happened and yes, that's a miracle, I'm so thankful. And the time when we perhaps fell off the horse, we went down the rabbit hole with some negative thinking or some anger or some frustration. See, the space that exists in between the peaks and troughs is where our energy is at a resting point. And it's time for us to take a little step back from the equation, to take a little step back from the theatrics of life and really analyze our own energy. To be really honest and frank and upfront with ourselves in love and in gentleness and to recognize that the only energy that calls us forward is energy that's balanced. When we are all over the place, 
triggered and upset, then happy, then sad, when all of these external factors have a bearing on what happens inside of us, we become the victim of those things. When the person who sits in the cubicle next to us at work, when, when the person who lives next door, that grumpy neighbour, when that boss who's a bit of a jerk or that partner who's become very difficult or the kids that won't straighten out or the issues in the family, when all of these things happen, friend, what you're actually dealing with is the energy. It's energy that we are always working with and when you can see the energy, when you can listen to the energy, you don't have to read the words. You don't have to listen to what the person says. You can interpret it in the energy. And what my encouragement to you is, is to seek to balance out your energy. Have a look at your own self, the stories and the cycles of the life that you are living. Find where the energy is unbalanced. Find where the emotional reaction and response is coming. Find where you run off down that rabbit hole. Look for it, be honest with yourself, but be gentle with yourself and recognize that if there is something outside of you that can change what happens inside of you, what that means, friend, is we have become a victim to that thing. If you say to me, Ben, that boss just really gets on my nerves, or I just can't get past the dramas with this person, well, this issue really fired me up. What you're actually saying to me is, Ben, there are things happening around me that have permission to disturb what's happening in me. That means I'm a victim to those things. This is the first thing we need to shift. See, this is where your miracle happens. Miracles should not take place in our everyday life. See, have you ever thought about a miracle and what it represents? It doesn't represent the beauty and the majesty of a divine reaching in and taking the wheel. What it represents is us throwing our hands in the air and saying, I've had enough. So often, when a miracle happens, we look at that miracle and we say, oh my gosh, what happened there? But see, when God gives us a miracle, he looks on the situation and says, oh my gosh, what's happened there? There should never be such an imbalance. You can live in a world where what we term as the manifestation of a miracle is with you every day. The provision, the healing, the relationships, even with yourself, the abundance, the esteem, the progress, the career, the satisfaction and fulfillment. You should live in an expansion of that every day. If you are not living in an expansion of that every day, my encouragement to you is to survey your life and find where the energy has become imbalanced. It is only imbalanced energy that leads to imbalanced results. Look for the areas in your life where you have given away the keys to the kingdom, where you have handed your peace over willingly and you have said to that situation, you can have my peace. And you've said to that person, that's okay, you can take a little bit more of my peace. And you've said to that frustration, here you go, while I'm giving peace out, you might as well have some too. Take the peace back, recognise that that is yours to possess. When you hold your peace and carry it with you, you don't need miracles because you live in an unfolding of the manifestation of your dream fulfilled. There are no miracles on the roadway. It's an unfolding. And the minute we stop giving our power away to things external to us, the minute we move forward in power. Friend, I love you with all of my heart. I hope this encouraged you, even with the mowers going outside. Make sure you subscribe. Come and join with me again tomorrow. God bless you.